and welcome back to Funny Megita Jones. Today we're stuffing my business binder. I know I haven't stuffed my business binder on camera for a while. So today we're going to be stuffing that for the last two pay periods in February. I get paid on a weekly basis and these are the last two paychecks that I got from Etsy in my business binder. So um, if you're interested in seeing how that's set up, stay tuned. <music> As I said, we are stuffing my business binder for the last two weeks in February. So typically I get paid every week and the first two weeks around mid-February, I was looking at my cash envelopes and I just wanted to reconcile against what was in my checking, making sure I had the right money in my envelopes based on what I had in my checking. And so I had to do some moving around, move some stuff to my sinking funds. So just so you know, I have an Ally bank account that's dedicated to just my business account. So I have a checking account, which, you know, everyday transactions come out of and I get paid to Etsy from. And I also have a savings account, which is a money market account that earns interest. And I put my um, I put my sinking funds for my business into that account so it can earn interest. So if we move this off to the side, move it off to the slide, we will look at February and I could show you what is going on. What is going on? Okay. Okay. So in February, I made a total of $311 for the entire month of February. And but today we're only stuffing $139 because I've already allocated this $311 along with taxes and everything. So we're going to be stuffing um, $139 into my cash envelopes of my business binder. And so without further ado, let's get to it. So we're going to put this off to the side. I'm going to use it as a guide. Y'all, I got such limited space here, and I know something's about to fall off my desk, but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. For first, we're gonna count out the money. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 105, 10, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 31. 33, 35, 36, 37, 38. That's not right. 39, 40, 41. That's not right. That's not right. Okay, we're going to bring up the calculator because I thought I could do this in my head. I cannot. Let's see. So we've got 60, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6. Woo, 139. I did something really wrong there. Okay, so we got 139 here. We're ticking and tying. I thought I was being cocky and let's say, oh, she can do it without a calculator. She can't do it without a calculator. What was she thinking? Hmm. Huh. We knew she couldn't do it without the calculator. Okay, so let's see. So y'all, y'all, I had to bite the bullet and I have <laughs> my Etsy shop is, has been open since March. Okay, March of 2022. Your girl, you know, is just selling stuff online. You know, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put money aside for taxes. You know, I'm trying to be responsible. But do you think that she kept any kind of bookkeeping or accounting software going? I had a little spreadsheet, but that's pretty much it. And I, you know, I didn't take any income. I kind of put everything back in the business. Um, and luckily that I do all my transactions on a credit card. And I think that's what's going to save me. And because I don't think I did too many in cash. Actually, I, I don't think I did any in cash. I pretty, pretty much put, you know me, I put everything on a credit card. And I use my, uh, my, I have a credit card that I use exclusively for business that I never use for personal. So luckily I put everything on a credit card and I fundle everything through my business checking account. So I had to set up QuickBooks today because I have to go see my accountant. I'm then, well, my accountant, I act like I got an accountant. I ain't got no accountant. I'm going to go, <laughs> so I'm going to go get my taxes done on Monday. I got an accountant, y'all. I need to get one of those. And, um, I needed to, instead of just giving them a pile of stuff and saying, what do I, what, what do you want me to do with this and throw it on the table? I thought I tried to get slightly organized 
and give them like maybe a profit and loss statement and a list of my expenses maybe. So this weekend it's going to be going to Amazon and all my vendors and copying down the receipts because of course, why would I have done that since March of 2022? And why didn't I just wait to the weekend before I'm supposed to go to see the tax person? That's how you grow rolls. I'm going to become a, an adult one day and y'all just going to have to watch out. Okay. <laughs> so first thing we're stuffing is support BCL. So I am, I have some stuff in my cart that I need to uh, actually download and purchase from you guys. Some of y'all have some cute saving challenges and I need to go ahead and go ahead and purchase those. So we're going to actually stand this up so we can see what we're doing here. Oh, we already know what we're doing. We're doing, we know what we're doing. We don't need to do that. So cushion is getting $7. So on cushion, we have, we already have uh, $40, so we're gonna have $47 in cushion. And actually, I have it right here, so I don't, I don't need to count it. Um, miscellaneous is getting $2, so we should have $29 in miscellaneous. Which we do. Miscellaneous is just for anything that falls to the cracks. Cushion, now I'll just go back here. BCL, that's kind of ex explains itself. Cushion is going to stay in my checking and it's just, you know, if anything comes through in my, you know, I'm pretty good at, at monitoring how much money I have in my cash envelopes versus how much I spend. So I'm pretty good in, but if for some reason I miss something, um, this will be there to um, protect it. And currently I only have $47 in there. So that should be fine, but we're, we're going to try to build that up to a couple hundred dollars. And miscellaneous is for anything that falls to the cracks. Promotion, I'm not planning to do too much with promotions. So we're only going to put a dollar in promotions, and that should just give it four dollars. So there you go. I'm going to do the low fund promotions and use try to up my Instagram game and my YouTube shorts game. Now look at this. Look at this, y'all. I was so annoyed when this happened. So this, this is the NG from shipping. And I printed out a pretty shipping label and I cut it up and I was putting it on here. And for some reason, I, it slipped and it hit the envelope and this is what stuck. And I'm just like, Arr! and I just didn't feel like cutting another one. So until I cut another one, it's just going to be an upside down NG and I'll just know it's shipping. So there you go. So shipping currently has $70 and we're going to be adding another 10 to it. Now, um, I don't do my shipping out of Etsy. I do it out of um, pirate ship, and there was a there was a good reason of oh the reason I switched from Etsy shipping to pirate ship, which the costs are pretty much the same, so it wasn't a cost difference, is because I got an inexpensive um, uh, label printer for to ship out to print my labels on a thermal printer to ship my labels. It's not, it's not the fancy ones that you see most of the people have. I didn't have fancy label printer money. Mine was only like $89 and I love it. It works perfectly. It's a brand that I've never heard of. It's not the brand that I see all over Instagram. It works perfectly, but I could not figure out a way to make it work with Etsy. It works perfectly with pirate ship, but Etsy, I could not figure it out. So I switched to pirate ship and there you go. Problem solved. So subscriptions, because I signed up for QuickBooks, the first month is free. After that, I'm paying, I think, $21 a month. Woo! Accounting is expensive, y'all. So, um, subscriptions, I have $66. I'm putting $16 in there. And we're going, what is that? $16. It's, what is that? $66 with $16. It's $82. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Right, right, right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Got five. Another five. I think it is $82. So we've got, I just want to count this. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 82. Look at that, me doing math in my head. Oh, so proud of me. So I want to get this up. I want to, I want to at least save um, a full year of both Canva. The only subscriptions I have for my business currently is Canva and now QuickBooks. Canva already paid up for the entire year. And QuickBooks is going to come out a monthly. They didn't have a yearly subscription that I could see. I usually like to use the yearly subscriptions because you usually save money on the yearly subscriptions, but I couldn't find one. So supplies, I'm pretty stocked up on most things, but there are a couple things I need to get. So I currently have $128 in here. I'm going to put $34 in here. 
I'm not going to do the math. Oh, there goes my pin. 128 plus $34 equals $162 in here. Could have just counted it after I put it in, but why do it the simple way? Why do things simply? Okay. That's not what, that's not my, that's not my ministry as some people say. It's not my ministry. Okay, let's see. So we've got 120, 40, 50, 55, 57, 59, 60, 1, 62. So now we decided, yeah, 162. Well, look at that. So $162 in supplies, which is a pretty good amount since I'm pretty much stocked up. I, during last um, holiday season, I bought a bunch of packaging materials. So once that runs out, I'm probably going to upgrade my packaging. So in the future, when you order from me, you might see some upgraded packaging from me because you know, you girls trying to get, you know, up, up, upper game. So anyway, enough about that. YouTube is getting a dollar and I only have $3 in here. So it's getting $4 and we're going to try to up this as well. Okay. Emergency funds. Now these right here going from this point back are what I put in my sinking funds. These earn interest. These stay in my checking account because, you know, they go in and out. These go into my sinking funds. They earn interest. So the next one in emergency fund, I currently have $149. We're going to add $7 to that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. $7 to that. Two. Okay. So we've got 100 20, 40, 45, 50, 52, 54, 56, 156 dollars, which is not bad for an emergency fund just starting out. I want to get this up to at least a thousand dollars, but for now, if um you know, fit hits the shan, we've got 150 dollars to work with. Um, so the next one is equipment, and this is so if I need to buy anything, if I need to buy a new cutting machine, if I need to buy a new um, laminator, and and I'm always buying laminators. I don't know if you, you, if you people who make envelopes, cash envelopes, if you, if you actually sellers make cash envelopes, you know you can run through a laminator like that because they just, they don't, they don't bind like they used to when you first get them out the box they they they, they just don't do do what they need to do so um i'm currently on my third laminator so there you go and i haven't stopped and found a brand that i'm completely in love with i was my first one i had already had when i started my business which was an amazon basics and it was fine but you know i'm gonna i'm gonna need i'm gonna keep i keep upgrading my laminator so we'll see how that goes equipment what a yab jab dab 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 i keep talking i'm adding three dollars to equipment to give me a total of $46 in equipment. So, and that should be enough if when I, if, if and when I need a laminator, I will have enough for it. Um, not the really expensive ones, but a mid-level laminator. P.O. Box, I'm pretty fully funded with that. And my P.O. Box is $119. And so I'm gonna skip that one. Taxes, y'all, taxes. Taxes, I have $42. And taxes. So, I should have a hundred and sixty nine. I mean, sorry, seven hundred and sixty nine dollars in taxes. I told y'all I put a lot of extra money away in taxes because I did not know to anticipate my first year out. So I put away 30 percent of anything I make in taxes, which an accountant, anybody accountant out there might tell you, oh, girl, that's too much. Or maybe it's not enough. We don't know. We're going to find out uh, on Monday. <laughs> so I got five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, twenty. 40, 60, 65, 67, 69. Is that what I said, 769? Yeah, 769. So there we go. In taxes. That's a, I can't believe I'm just having this money chilling so I can just give it away. What is that about? So repay me. One of the things I didn't talk about on my channel is that I loaned my business from my three to six months of expenses around the Christmas time, a thousand dollars. So this is to pay back my emergency fund, the thousand dollars that I borrowed from it. This is my personal emergency fund, my 36 months expenses, not my business one. So this money will go back into my emergency fund, but I'm gonna keep it here in my business sinking fund until it accumulates to a thousand dollars and then I will transfer it over. 
So there you go. So this is going to get, it currently has $82 in it, and it's going to get $6. So we've got one, five. So we've got 50, 70, 80. I thought I had $82 in here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> There's some extra money. Okay. 50, 70, 80, 85, 87, 88. $88. There we go. And finally, my income. My income I also keep in my business sinking fund. Um, if I want to pull it, I will at some point. Probably after I do my taxes, I will pull that money and give it to myself and distribute it however I feel like it. But right now, with taxes being with, uh, being up in the air and I'm not quite sure what my tax bill is going to be, every little bit is staying into my sinking funds in case I need to pull it. So I might not take an income. <laughs> so there you go. So in my income repay me, and I don't pay myself a lot. I only have $82 in here, and I'm going to put... Um, seven dollars in here, which is I'm sorry. I only have eighty dollars in here and I'm gonna put seven dollars in here to make it eighty seven So there we go And I have not done a cash on stuffing as of yet for the month of February But we will go ahead and do that at a later date But I just wanted to stuff all the money for February and then unstuff it after that point So I might include this I might include this unstuffing in another video, but um, for now we're just going to call her done and that's it. So um, yeah, thank you all who have gone to my Etsy shop, who have supported me. You all are an awesome community and we I love that we all support each other. I love that we go out and, and we shop our, um, everybody shop and I just, you know, I had no idea when I started a budgeting channel that I would be linking myself up with such amazing group of people. So um, thank you all for all the support you give me to my channel, to my neglected Instagram. Some of y'all give me love on and posts I get put on my Instagram, even though I put a post like every quarter. I'm so off on Instagram. I know to get, I need to get better. And you all have really been showing up and showing out on my Etsy shop. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all. So all this this money that you see in this binder is you you did this and i i can't tell you how much i appreciate you and um i will see you all in the next video do we have a hashtag do we have a hashtag what is the hashtag m is for money there you go and coco and chanel say hello and uh yeah so m is for money m is for march m is for Vegeta, but m is for money so hashtag m is for money so um, I will see you all in the next video and I hope you have a great start to March. And uh, yeah, I'm bulk filming. So I was going to say y'all see me in the same clothes. You don't know what I'm wearing. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still been filming everything on the same day. Going to distribute it throughout the month. So I hope you all are doing okay and have a great March and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. <laughs>